Hi, I'm Chris Cardona, and I'm going to bring you one of our walking tours here on board the Amplified Oasis of the Seas, coming up on Talking Cruise. Okay, so we are starting the tour here on deck four forward and uh, this is where we have the Royal Theatre, uh, which is not open right now. There's constantly uh, rehearsals going on, but um, I do have some footage, which I'm going to show you right now from uh, a really great show featuring the uh, Beatles tribute band. <laughs> now on deck number four. This takes us into Entertainment Place, which is really the hub of uh, different types of lounges, uh, music, uh, comedy, and so forth on board uh, Oasis of the Seas. So here to the left we have Jazz on Four, which is, you guessed it, the jazz club on board. And in case you're not familiar uh, with the entertainment place on board other Oasis class ships, there's no charge for any of these spaces. Um, there is capacity limits though, so depending on uh, the show and the time, uh, you might want to come a little bit earlier just to make sure that you can grab yourself a spot. And right across from Blades, we have the Diamond Club. Uh, this is exclusive for guests at the uh, Diamond, Diamond Plus, and Pinnacle level. Uh, you do need your key card in order to uh, gain access to this area. And uh, this lounge is, uh, has an, uh, access to your diamond concierge who will help you with uh, any type of reservations or changes or any things that you need assistance with. Uh, one of the other great perks is that there is this uh, coffee machine here that is complimentary to uh, members of the uh, Diamond, Diamond Plus and Pinnacle Crown and Anchor Club. Uh, Self-serve, so you can just decide what you want, espresso, uh, cafe latte, cappuccino and so forth. And then at different times of the day, they'll have uh, a continental breakfast or some snacks here. And it's a good place just to chill out and talk to some of your fellow avid cruisers. And uh, Studio B, first made popular on the Voyager class ships. Um, it's a great spot to have amazing ice shows as well as you can experience ice seating at sea. Uh, watch out for this guy here in Entertainment Place. He's trying to climb out of the uh, subway sewer. And then the uh, Casino Royale actually wraps all the way around the Studio B area, and uh, we'll take you through that here. Has a self contained bar area. Got all the latest slots and table games. And uh, you can watch some sports in here as well. Here on deck four aft, we have the Izumi, Abachi, and Sushi. Um, I enjoy this on uh, night one, always a favorite of mine. And uh, it's not a very big space here on board Oasis of the Seas, but uh, they do have the classic teppanyaki tables, uh, which uh, these are not included on the unlimited dining package, but for just a $10 upcharge, you can add it to that. And then on the other side here, we have the sushi bar. And uh, it's not just sushi, they do have uh, ramen bowls and some uh, tempura as well. And uh, the ship's main dining room on board uh, Oasis of the Seas is on deck three, four, and five. Um, this is uh, deck four that we're on right now, and uh, it is located aft, three, four, and five aft uh, on the ship. 
So this is kind of the uh, calm before the storm, before dinner time. And then you can see from here, you can look down into the lower level on deck three. And then deck four and finally deck five. Okay, so we are forward on deck number five. And one thing I wanted to show you is uh, a lot of ships have the exterior promenade. On the Oasis class ships, that promenade is actually a really fantastic jogging track. If you want to come and run laps, this is the place to do it. Uh, you'll get this encouragement along the way with these signs. Uh, out of all the ships that I've been on to uh, run on tracks, this is by far my favorite. And uh, here you can see here, there are a couple of uh, entrances and exits. Uh, two on the port, two on the starboard side. And as far as stats are concerned, uh, one lap, 2,197 feet. One mile is 2.4 laps. So just uh, keep that in mind. And they do have markers. Uh, right on the surface of the track to kind of give you uh, an idea of where you are starting from. Um, and again, as I said, they've got these uh, banners along the way just to keep you uh, motivated uh, towards your goals. Accessible through the main entrance on Deck 6, the Vitality at Sea Spa, located Deck 5 forward, offers soothing treatments and relaxation areas. And uh, we're going to enter the Royal Theatre here on uh, Deck 5 forward. Really get a sense from here, right at the stage, just how big this theater is, with really good sight lines throughout. Some fantastic shows here in the theater. Um, if you're a fan of uh, musicals, they do put on a fantastic performance of Cats. look at the Royal Promenade here on board Oasis of the Seas. We're in one of the centrums right now. This is the forward centrum. All right, so let's make our way through the Royal Promenade here on Oasis. Uh, looks like these people are taking part in the dance class that's happening right here at uh, Valero's. That seems like a lot of fun. And uh, Boleros is the Latin club here on board, Oasis of the Seas, and it's on a number of the ships now. And uh, it really gets happening uh, in the evenings, some great live music, dancing, and uh, there's a really cool bar actually. Yeah. So we're leaving Boleros uh, as it gets a little bit quieter. Uh, right across is a licensed Starbucks location. And uh, this is not included, it's not included on any of the beverage packages either. But a cool thing is, is if you have points, if you've got uh, rewards cards, gift cards for Starbucks, they are fully accepted here uh, because this is a licensed location. And then right across from Starbucks, we do have the Spotlight Karaoke Lounge. Um, this is something that was converted from the uh, previous uh, Oasis of the Seas. Uh, it always had karaoke, but now it's more dedicated for that purpose. So over here you have a bar. And then they do have themed uh, activities uh, with karaoke here in the, in the lounge. It gets quite busy. I know the other night uh, it was packed all the way out into the promenade. And then through this door over here, they have private rooms that you can book. Um, I know I'm here with my family and uh, we've booked the session. Uh, it's in hour increments. Uh, it's around $25 for one hour. So this is one of the private karaoke rooms uh, here at Spotlight Karaoke on Oasis of the Seas. Uh, you see you've got a nice big screen, 
which uh, really brings this whole room really to life here. I've got this giant tablet that'll uh, be there for all your selection of your songs. And uh, two microphones as well. And uh, nice ambiance with these disco light and uh, yeah, it's really cool in here. And that is Spotlight Karaoke. To participate here in the main lounge though, there is no charge for that at all. Just have a good time. If you've been on other uh, ships with Royal Promenades, you know they definitely have a lot of shops. And uh, no exception here on Oasis. Over here you have the uh, Royal Caribbean Signature logo items, including the ship models, which if you've been watching my videos, you know is one of my personal favorites. As I grow the Cardona fleet across uh, cruise lines uh, all over the world. And then over here they've got uh, cosmetics and fragrances. Port Merchants, which is your duty-free liquor, cigars, cigarettes. And again, we're in port right now, so none of these are open. And then over here we have the Globe and Atlas, which is one of the pubs on board. Really gives you that sort of sense of an English pub. Nice dark interiors. And uh, there's some great live music in here as well. And they have tons and tons of uh, drafts and beers and <coughs> bottles. <coughs> and uh, of course, any types of mixed drinks that you want as well. And then over here we have the popular Sorrento's Pizzeria, uh, which is a complimentary pizza uh, and some antipasti as well. Let's go and have a look here. A uh, variety of pizzas will change from day to day, uh, but they do have uh, bar service over on the side here. And today's offerings are cheese, vegetarian, pepperoni, and carnivore, which uh, to me sounds like meats, meats, and meats. So there's a shot of some of the pizzas. I can see these have already been cleared out. And then over here they've got some great veggies. Asparagus, peppers, squash, zucchini, uh, and then different meats and cheeses and olives. I think that's great and this is all uh, included. And they do have seating uh, right through here uh, for Sorrento's. Um, a little bit inside and then outside along the promenade as well. And then over here we have uh, another gift shop. This is called the Island Market. Uh, seems like it has some jewelry, handbags and uh, other sort of beachy kind of wear. I really love the uh, classic cars that Royal Caribbean has and the promenades on board the various uh, ships in the fleet. Uh, this is uh, no exception. And every day, this uh, bear couple gets a different outfit. Uh, they're masked up and they even have their own little badge. So uh, Mrs. Benny and Mr. Benny. And then if you're looking for a continental breakfast, uh, snacks throughout the day, uh, and coffees, you can come here to the Promenade Cafe. Um, all of the eats here are included. And uh, they do also have complimentary coffee and tea, but if you want something a little more uh, specialty, uh, coffee-wise, or with a splash of some liquor, they do have that as well here. And uh, that is available on your beverage package. So they have sandwiches and fruit cups and some pastries and desserts. And this will change throughout the day as well. And complimentary coffees and teas on the side over here as well. And if you want to take a cool way to get from the promenade up to uh, Central Park up there on deck number eight, you can take the Rising Tide Bar. Uh, just like it says, it is a bar that actually goes uh, pretty slowly up between the decks. Uh, just two stops, promenade and Central Park. And I'll just take you through a quick walk through here. So now we're on board. And uh, here there's a nice bar, so you can have full bar service while you're having a nice ride up. And uh, seating all around to get in a great view. So since most of the specialty restaurants are up on deck number eight in Central Park, uh, a lot of people will come here to deck five, uh, the Royal Promenade, uh, board the Rising Tide Bar, 
have some before dinner cocktails, and then make your way up to Central Park and uh, enjoy their dinner. And right across from Rising Tide Bar, we do have guest services, and uh, they are available 24 hours a day for any needs, concern, question that you might have. Uh, in fact, a lot of the times they'll help you right while you're in line. Uh, there isn't a line right now, but uh, they're extremely efficient and uh, ready to assist. Another change with the latest uh, amplification here on Oasis of the Seas was the addition of the Bionic Bar. Uh, which did replace the old uh, champagne bar that was here. But, uh, I don't know if you've ever tried this before, but they have these uh, tablets here where you can swipe your card and order your drink. And then the uh, Maker Shaker robots will select the uh, drink of choice from this wide selection up here. And uh, they will make it, they will shake it, they will pour it into cups, and it comes out right here uh, for you to enjoy. So we're now in the aft section of the Royal Promenade and over here they have the port shopping desk. So any questions about shopping and any of your ports of call, they are the ones to help you. And then on the other side here is uh, the internet uh, area. So uh, again, if you want to sign up or if you have questions of how to set up your internet on board, uh, they can help you over here with uh, Voom. So we are now aft on deck number six here on board Oasis of the Seas and we are heading to the very fun boardwalk area. Uh, on board. So as soon as you come outside here in the boardwalk area, you immediately feel the carnival kind of feel. And uh, this uh, area here has these amazing carvings where they actually show you the progress of uh, what it takes to carve one of these amazing uh, carousel horses. And then over here is the final job. Cool thing that they have on all of the Oasis class ships, if you remember the movie Big, Zoltar, just be careful with your wishes because he's uh, ready to accept them. Another staple at the boardwalk is the boardwalk doghouse. This is a complimentary venue. They have a variety of different types of dogs with toppings um, and uh, sausages as well and a couple of different side uh, options like potato salad and uh, coleslaw. And then over here we have the very popular carousel. And then if you want to tickle your sweet tooth, the Sugar Beach area here has lots of different types of bulk candy, as well as a handy and very convenient uh, Sunday and uh, ice cream shop here. Next to Sugar Beach is the Beach Shop with a good assortment of brand name apparel and accessories. Now something that was added uh, in the recent amplification is Playmaker Sports Bar. Uh, we're seeing this more and more on new builds as well as uh, other ships that have been going into refurbishment. Uh, this is really your mecca for anything sports. Uh, there is an arcade as well and I'll show you that in a moment. But here on the outside you can see they've got screens with all different types of sports. Uh, right now we're in football season, so this is just absolutely slammed uh, when the games are going on. But it's a great place uh, to come grab a drink. Uh, they do have a uh, limited menu of uh, bar type food options. And I'll just show you those right here. So you got nachos, chicken tenders, fries, sliders and such. Uh, some really good wings and burgers and sandwiches. And a few dessert options as well. And if you do happen to have the unlimited dining package, well, it actually works here and uh, I've used it several times myself and it's really a great value to come and grab a snack or any of those things that are on the menu here. Just swing back through here. Some more arcade games. Not too much. This really isn't the arcade. It's just part of Playmakers. Some classic games right here. Just on the side of our Playmakers, they do have these games available. Uh, everything does have a cost though, you do have to buy uh, credits. And there's a, quite a large bar here, um, but they'll serve you uh, drinks outside on the patio area as well. But if you want to watch games inside, I mean it's really inside but still open air, there's no windows or doors on this area. 
Uh, but like I said, plenty of TVs and uh, even some billiards if that's what you prefer as well. And then on the opposite side of the boardwalk, there's this little play area for the uh, kids to enjoy. And it's right adjacent to the Johnny Rockets uh, diner that's on uh, most of Royal Caribbean ships. And uh, what's great is uh, here you have all the seating right here on the boardwalk. So if you want to just take in just the amazing sort of ambiance that they have here, this is a great spot. But they've also got seating on the uh, inside diner section as well. And uh, this guy has been here for such a long time, but still has a great big smile and uh, welcoming you with his uh, handful of balloons. There's a few of some of the boardwalk balconies here. These are actually a great value. You still get the sense of being, uh, you know, outside uh, because it is not enclosed. And if you get some of the rooms towards the back end here, uh, you might actually catch a little bit of a view of the ocean. Um, as well as some of the shows and activities happening over here in the Aqua Theater. And something else that was added in the latest amplification is the Ultimate Abyss slide, uh, which we've seen on Harmony and uh, Symphony of the Seas. And uh, it's not open as, as, uh, at this particular moment, but uh, what a thrilling ride to go all the way from the sports deck up there, uh, down all the way here to the boardwalk. And uh, it's a very quick ride to ride on a carpet. It is a dry slide, not a water slide. Um, which makes it a whole lot easier getting back up again. And this is the amazing aqua theater space, which is really something that was revolutionary when Oasis first launched um, over 10 years ago now. And uh, they're doing some maintenance work here. Um, but uh, I do have footage from the shows and uh, I'll uh, roll that for you right now. So we're now moving forward on deck six uh, from the aft section uh, boardwalk. And uh, it's kind of split with the Royal Promenade. So I'll just take you through some of the sides here. So here we have the next cruise. If you're looking to book a cruise, future cruise, this is the place to come. You'll get uh, some good offers and uh, perks for doing so. And then this takes us into a classic nautical uh, experience here at the Schooner Bar. Pretty much a, a mainstay on all of all Caribbean ships. But this one has the extra special view of the Royal Promenade below. And there is a piano playing and live music in here as well as activities throughout the voyage. Over here we have the bar section. Lots of seating. This is definitely one of the largest uh, schooner bars uh, on in the fleet and then on the other side of the promenade you have the shore excursions area um, like most of the ships these days uh, they do have people here that can help you with your shore excursions but they also have these kiosks which you just tap your card and uh, it'll prompt you and you can go through the process of booking or modifying your excursion that you've already booked and uh, here on this big screen they have highlights from some of the destinations available and over here is the photo gallery, uh, again, fully accessible um, with the kiosks. And uh, you can see the photos they've taken of you. You can order prints, uh, get special packages as well. And uh, it's a photo shop too. So if you want any uh, accessories, uh, cards for your camera, batteries, you don't need film anymore, but uh, anything 
uh, to do with cameras, including cameras themselves, uh, they have over here at the Photoshop. So deck six, so we'll actually stop here um, aft, uh, just around the Promenade Cafe area, um, and we'll pick up again on the forward section of the Royal Promenade, and we'll show you that uh, when we get over there. So here we are, uh, deck six forward, and entering the Vitality uh, at Sea Spa and Fitness Center. And uh, I'll take you through here. This is a very large um, Vitality Spa on board Oasis of the Seas. And uh, one great feature here is the Vitality Cafe. Uh, it's not really open right now, but uh, they do have uh, smoothies and, and other types of uh, protein drinks that you can purchase. And then they do also have some food items like here, uh, which are complimentary. And uh, this will change uh, throughout the day. And then through here we have the uh, salon area where they have uh, various cosmetics uh, available for purchase. You can actually get uh, uh, instruction on applying techniques and so forth. And uh, in the salon here they can do uh, hair treatments and nails and uh, foot and hand treatments as well. So the fitness center is adjacent to the uh, spa area. It's just here on the left side. And I'll take you through there. And uh, you can definitely see it's uh, what you'd expect with a uh, high quality fitness center on board a cruise ship. All the latest and greatest machines with that fantastic view. A little bit different here is uh, sometimes they have just large panes of glass here. They have more like porthole style windows, but uh, still gives you a nice view. It's in a lot of natural light. And then they have tons of uh, weight equipment for your strength training. And then over here, um, they do have various classes uh, during the cruise. And it's not open right now, but uh, down these stairs, you actually have direct access to the jogging track on board, um, deck number five, that will, goes around the entire uh, ship. And then back out through uh, the main entrance to the Vitality at Sea Spa and Fitness Center. Uh, takes you here overlooking the Royal Promenade below. And then up here on deck six, um, as you continue to move your way aft, there's this little section here that has a overlook to the Royal Promenade. Just a few seats up here. If you just want a quiet spot to kind of just chill out a little bit, uh, maybe enjoy a book or just people watch in general. You can definitely do that up here. So here at the back end of deck six, uh, right near the Aqua Theater, uh, there is a set of stairs that'll take you up to deck number seven aft. And um, really the only thing on deck seven as far as public spaces outside of staterooms is the rock climbing wall. As far as the rock walls on their cruise ships go, this is definitely the most challenging. Again with a nice view right down to the Aqua Theater. And there's this little section of deck over here that is great to actually watch uh, sail away. And uh, you can sit here, there's a couple of chairs just tucked around the corner here. And this is kind of the view that the Aqua Theater Suites have as well. They're directly above on several decks uh, above from here. But you can just see what a beautiful water view this is. So here we are on deck eight forward. And uh, main feature on deck eight is Central Park. And we'll take you through there now. There's lots of really nice uh, corners and uh, nooks and crannies to the area here in Central Park. Uh, you've got some nice shops sort of tucked away on the side. And uh, right now we're heading forward to aft. We've got the little cove seating areas like this. And uh, nice art and uh, lots of really cool things to look at, like these light fixtures have these 
uh, dragonflies and uh, different sort of bugs on them. Uh, here's uh, Tiffany and company. And over here you have the Central Park Library, but uh, it's not really uh, books, not really reading. It's more just a place to, uh, you can bring a book with you or maybe use a computer. And this is the inside of the Central Park Library. Like I said, it's a small space, uh, really good for you to come bring your own book. Um, and they might have uh, some uh, gatherings here uh, as well. So over here we have the Vintages Wine Bar, and uh, this is a great spot if you want to try different wines. Uh, they do offer uh, packages where you can actually uh, taste and sample the wines, um, and uh, you can also use your beverage package here. So if you enjoy a nice uh, glass of wine, this will be the place that probably has the most uh, variety on board the ship. And uh, over here we have some outside seating that is uh, right next to the uh, Park Cafe. And the uh, Park Cafe is a complimentary venue. They do uh, serve breakfast and lunch uh, every day. Uh, you'll find different, uh, you know, sandwiches, soups, uh, made to order salads as well. Currently still in the breakfast time, so let me show you what they have available. So over here is the uh, bagel station with uh, various types of bagels, spreads, and toppings. Here you have some parfaits, fresh fruit, yogurt, an assortment of uh, pastries, and this will change every day. Uh, here's some breakfast sandwiches, uh, oatmeal and such. And there's a good amount of seating inside here as well, and the air conditioning. And a real highlight here in Central Park is all this amazing uh, foliage, shrubs, and flowers. Everything here that you see is real. Uh, it's actually maintained by an onboard horticulturalist uh, who really spends a lot of time looking at the irrigation and the nutrients of the uh, plants and uh, flowers and such. And uh, they're doing a great job because everything just looks beautiful. And over here we have uh, Giovanni's Table, which is the Italian restaurant on board the ship. And uh, had a nice dinner here the other night and probably coming back again. So most of the specialty dining is located here um, in the Central Park area. And I'll show you the other uh, options as well. It's closed right now, so you don't really have the uh, full table set up. But, uh, and we'll continue to head out here uh, through Central Park. And uh, yeah, just you can see the, uh, the foliage and it's everything just green and lush. Um, right around the midsection, they do have these living walls, which are uh, just incredibly maintained. And uh, you'll see all the growth hanging down, various varieties of plants. And uh, if you listen a little bit, you can actually hear uh, they have uh, piped in sounds of uh, birds chirping and insects and so forth, which is really nice as well. And over here we have the Trellis Bar, uh, which is open most evenings, uh, late afternoon evenings. Nice spot to come and have a beverage here sitting in Central Park. And like I said, if you just wander through the pathways, you'll find like uh, this Arbor Trellis here, just completely uh, covered with greenery. I mean, it's really hard to believe sometimes that you're actually on a ship when you walk through here. Just amazing. Lots of places to sit and just enjoy the ambiance here in Central Park. And uh, just one deck above and uh, several decks above that, you do have, these are the uh, Central Park view rooms with the uh, windows. Uh, they do have like a, a bay window seating uh, right up against the glass. So you have a chance to get a nice uh, view of what's going on here in Central Park. And then the ones above that, those are the Central Park balconies, uh, which they do have a fully operable uh, balcony, just like the ocean view, except your view is down here in Central Park.
And this glass enclosure right here is the uh, stop, the top deck stop of the Rising Tide Bar. And uh, this will be operating at different uh, times. Right now it says the next departure is 1.05 p.m. And uh, so it goes between uh, Deck 5, Royal Promenade, and here on Deck 8 in Central Park. And that leads us here into 150 Central Park Restaurant. Uh, it's another specialty restaurant here on board Oasis of the Seas. And uh, this has a variety of uh, different types of uh, options. So uh, it does have your steaks, but it also has uh, things like duck and seared venison loin, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, I had a really great dinner here on the uh, second evening. You can see it's really nicely uh, designed in here, beautiful decor. And if you're here with the party of two, they have these uh, really nice chairs that really just kind of make a, a cozy nook for you and your dinner companion. But they do have several larger tables uh, for uh, bigger parties. And um, they can even put some tables together if you need more space. But uh, service and food here is absolutely fantastic. And like all the other specialty dining on board, this is uh, included with the uh, unlimited dining package. And then just tucked in uh, around the corner from 150 Central Park, they do have these uh, chess boards set up. If you want to have a game here in the park, I think that's a really nice touch. And then the third specialty restaurant here in Central Park is uh, Chops Grill, uh, which is uh, Royal Caribbean's classic steakhouse, pretty much found on every ship in the fleet. Uh, so you'll have your, you know, your amazing uh, cuts, uh, appetizers like your shrimp cocktails and uh, jumbo lump crab cake and uh, different types of soups and salad options, uh, as well as seafood. And you can see it kind of has the uh, classic uh, dark rich woods that you'd find in uh, many steakhouses. And as I mentioned uh, about the other two specialty restaurants here in Central Park, this one is also available on the unlimited dining package, or it can be purchased uh, as a one-off uh, dining experience, or there are other packages like three-night packages uh, that are available as well. And in the evenings, it's nice to actually sit out here um, on the El Fresco uh, dining for Chops Grill. Okay, and uh, there is one more space here on deck eight that uh, I'm going to show you. And uh, right now, just continuing to head aft through Central Park. And uh, we'll take you over to the uh, New Space uh, Music Hall, which uh, replaced Dazzles that was here originally on board Oasis of the Seas before her uh, amplification. So we're just going to go back inside, again heading uh, aft on deck number 8, and I'll show you the uh, music hall space. And those of you that are uh, familiar with the Quantum class ships will know that uh, music hall did actually come from that class of ship. So this is music hall here on uh, deck 8 and 9 aft. So the music hall is a two-level venue, uh, as was Dazzle's previously, and uh, really a great place to catch live music. Uh, they've had this uh, Beatles tribute band on board this week, and uh, they've uh, been putting on some fantastic shows. They will be here again this evening. And then look at that view down to the boardwalk there. And there's the upper mezzanine area. And then no lounge would be complete without a full-service bar. Here on Deck 14 Forward, Adventure Ocean has great programs and facilities for kids 6 months to 12 years old. And uh, something else that was added here during the amplification was the Royal Escape Room. Uh, this one is themed with an Apollo 18 mission control uh, experience. And this is on Deck 14 aft. And over here we have a great family activity. This is Oasis Dunes Mini Golf. It's a nine hole course here on board Oasis of the Seas. Uh, there's some challenging holes and uh, I think what's great is actually coming to do the nighttime golf, which I did yesterday evening. Uh, the course has got some nice lights and uh, definitely a lot cooler, especially here in the Caribbean. So just behind this uh, faux hedge, we do have Social 298. This is the uh, teen hangout here on board Oasis of the Seas. This is the outside section. And uh, through the doors there, they do have 
uh, an inside uh, lounge as well. And then like most Royal Caribbean ships, there is the sports court over here. Uh, great place for full court basketball. They have soccer in here. Um, they had volleyball the other day as well. So uh, coming out here and uh, challenge uh, your friends and fellow guests to a friendly game. Another great complimentary eatery that was added during the amplification here on board Oasis is El Loco Fresh Mexican. Uh, first seen on board Symphony of the Seas back in 2018. This place has uh, really great tacos, quesadillas, um, all the tortillas are made fresh daily. Uh, there's some nachos ready for their queso topping. And uh, it's really great grab and go. And they do also have uh, breakfast here as well. And as well, it's a great seating that's uh, covered if you want to get out of the sun. And then over here, nice salsa station to top it off with guac and cheese and all types of really great things. And I know a lot of people ask, but uh, yes, uh, they do have the Coca-Cola freestyle machines here on board. Uh, this one is just outside the El Loco Fresh. Uh, there's also one down near Sorrento's uh, Pizzeria in the Promenade, and uh, as well in the Windjammer, and we'll check that out uh, shortly. And then over here on the port side of Oasis of the Seas is the brand new port side barbecue. Uh, this is a specialty option, it's not included. Uh, however, it is included on the unlimited dining package. So um, you can pretty much order any of the items on the menu um, and mix and match and uh, it will be part of your unlimited dining package. And aside from the fact that there is an upcharge for this, I can say that the barbecue is fantastic. Um, my family and I enjoyed it yesterday for lunch and uh, it was just incredible. I mean, more than I could possibly eat and uh, everything was more tasty than the next from the ribs to uh, all the sides and uh, brisket and such. It was uh, just fantastic. And then all along the port side, uh, there is all the seating here for port side barbecue. Uh, one thing I did notice yesterday is it opened at uh, noon and uh, probably 10 minutes before that the line was already starting. So definitely a popular place. Um, a lot of people do seem to have the unlimited package. So uh, it really makes uh, perfect sense to come here and enjoy this uh, barbecue. All right, so we're going to continue to head forward on uh, deck 15. I'm going to stick on the port side for now um, because the ship in the center is uh, taken up by the uh, boardwalk and the central park. And this is the sports pool, uh, which is a port side midship aft on Oasis of the Seas. And there's uh, lots of seating here, uh, deck chairs, as, uh, as well as high tops if you want to enjoy some uh, lunch from either Windjammer or one of the other eateries on board. Doesn't that look inviting? One of my favorite places to get a drink from all the new ships that have uh, been coming out is uh, Lime and Coconut Bar. I uh, just love the uh, nice Caribbean flavors and colors here and uh, friendly bar staff with these amazing Fantastic. coconut shirts. Okay, now we're coming to the uh, main pool area. Still on the port side, and uh, this tends to be one of the more busy pools, uh, probably because it's adjacent to the water park, uh, water slides right over there. And uh, this area here is also one of the smoking areas on board Oasis of the Seas. So uh, port side midship, next to the main pool. And then here we have a couple of the amazing spiral slides, part of the perfect storm here on board Oasis of the Seas. I can attest that they are absolutely incredible, uh, really whip you around quickly. And over here we have one of the towel stations. 
sign in, get your towels, make sure you bring them back and sign out or you will be charged for those towels. And then as we continue to head forward, this is uh, one of the two cantilevered whirlpools here on board the ship. And uh, these are part of, even though they're outside of it, they're still considered part of the Solarium. So these are 16 uh, years and above. And uh, these are some of my favorite whirlpools on board Royal Caribbean ships. All right, so we're going to continue forward. I'm going to take you through the Solarium and then we'll wrap around uh, the front of the ship and then through the starboard side of the vessel. So first thing I want to show you is this is the Solarium Bistro. Uh, this is a, a complimentary uh, offering for uh, guests on board the ship. Um, it is considered adult only since it is part of the Solarium. Uh, but they do have more sort of what they would consider health conscious options here. Uh, they do have breakfast and they do have dinner here as well. So again, in between meal service, so there is nothing available at this time. Uh, but I've come here for breakfast a couple of times uh, on other ships and um, I always really enjoy it. We've got more of the Coca-Cola freestyle machines in here and uh, other beverage choices. And then another thing that's great is you can actually make reservations even though there is no cost. Uh, so if you want to know you have your spot uh, reserved for a specific time, you can do that. And then you do have the easy access right out to the uh, solarium. All right, so we'll continue through the uh, lower level of the solarium here on deck 15, forward. So you can see they do have these really nice uh, chairs. Uh, these are all first come, first serve. There's uh, no rentals on these at all. Uh, but there are plenty of chairs available uh, to lay out on. Uh, here's the outside seating area for the Solarium Bistro. So in addition to the uh, cantilever whirlpools, there are two of these uh, whirlpools flanking uh, both sides of the Solarium. And uh, this is not an enclosed Solarium. As you can see, there, is, there are glass sections, but there is an opening uh, in between the glass sections. Uh, here's a nice place to chill with some friends, maybe have some drinks. And then another you know, the unique feature is that there's this uh, area open here that'll take you to uh, sort of an outside deck area. And uh, this was changed on uh, ships like uh, Symphony of the Seas where the Solarium actually goes out more towards the front of the ship. And then uh, this here is uh, over the bridge wing. And again, we're on the port side of the ship. A uh, great place to uh, catch the ship coming in and out of port. And you can see right off the edge here. Uh, we're currently in uh, St. Thomas right now. And you can see all the way aft on the ship. That over there is the cantilever whirlpool that we passed by. Normally this area is filled with uh, furniture, but uh, they're just uh, putting stuff away for the uh, day now. And we're gonna head back into the solarium area. And uh, there is another bridge wing on the other side, of course, and uh, similar uh, layout on the other side as well and then something I know that's very popular and actually missing from uh, Harmony of the Seas is this uh, hot tub sort of pool plunge pool if you will um, here on the Oasis of the Seas but I know there was a lot of uh, uproar when um, Harmony came out and there was not this pool and uh, guess what there was a pool put on the uh, future ship Symphony of the Seas uh, when she launched so I think Royal Caribbean does listen to its cruisers, especially the most loyal ones. And again, here's some more seating, just like on the other side. And now we're just wrapping around to the starboard side of the ship. There is the other whirlpool. And just fantastic views all the way around. Okay, so now we're going to exit the solarium and we're going to be going forward to aft. And now we are on the starboard side. So there is the uh, other cantilevered whirlpool. Uh, and they do have TVs in there. They have different sports, uh, seems to be playing most of the time. And uh, just to note as well, the solarium is considered adult only, which for Royal Caribbean is actually 16 years of age and above. Not sure why 16, but that's what it is. And then through here, we have the uh, stairs taking you all the way up to the uh, entrance of the Perfect Storm Slides. I'll just uh, swing over here 
give you a shot of the disclaimer board that tells you the heights and such. So there are three slides. There's uh, Typhoon and Cyclone. Those are the two uh, that are side by side. And uh, you have a minimum height of 48 inches, maximum weight of 300 pounds. And then over here, Supercell, which is the one that's like a champagne bowl slide, which is over here, the blue and green. Uh, that one has a higher uh, height restriction of 52 inches. Uh, and the maximum weight is a little bit lower at 243 pounds. All are equally great. Um, the bowl slide is much faster because it has a quicker drop up at the top there, uh, but all are really, really quick. All right, let's continue to uh, move aft on deck 15. So this is the exit of the supercell slide. So once you actually enter the bowl, there's another little last section that'll drop you down into this uh, laneway over here. And then this area over here is the beach pool, uh, which does have a sloped sort of beach entry into the water, which is nice, gradual entry. And again, one of the popular pools uh, on board. And then of course we have more whirlpools, two flanking the uh, beach pool over here. Okay, let's uh, continue on here. Just pass through here. On deck 15, past the beach pool. And there's a lot of seating all on the edge here. Uh, again, this is places where you can uh, eat um, and get out of the direct sun as well. Okay, and then on the other side is a, another lime and coconut. And this one is adjacent to the kids' uh, water park, which is uh, Splashaway Bay here on board Oasis. Splashaway Bay has really been making its way uh, to more and more ships in the fleet. Um, they did uh, take out the old H2O zone. That was more like just fountains and like statues of spray water. Uh, but this one here is much more interactive, has the dump buckets and slides and such, which is a lot more fun. And there is Splashaway Bay. And then over here, we do have uh, table tennis. And uh, the other clever thing is they actually enclosed it in this kind of uh, windbreak area because it's virtually impossible to play table tennis, especially when the ship is moving with the breeze all the time. And then this will take us back to uh, El Loco Fresh, uh, which we caught on the uh, earlier part of our tour of Deck 15. This is another really cool thing is uh, they've added this self-serve area for uh, you know, medication, sunblock, uh, any sort of sundries that you might have missed when you were coming on board and packing, but uh, it's not open right now because they do have restrictions in port, but you could just swipe your card and uh, pretty much get whatever you need right here. And if you need a top off of your uh, cell phone or other technology, uh, there are these charging stations where you can pretty much lock away your device and uh, that is free for you to use. And uh, like most of the ships, uh, this ship does have a nice arcade. So this is Challenger's Arcade here on board, Oasis. So they've got uh, the claw machines, prize machines. You can uh, redeem tickets from some of the games. I know my kids love this claw machine right here. Uh, some bowling, good old ski ball, uh, air hockey as well, and then some uh, riding games and uh, shoot 'em up games over here as well, racing. So we're here on deck 16 aft, and uh, here we have the entrance to Ultimate Abyss. Uh, really great ride, uh, two people can go at a time, there is no cost for this. Uh, but you will slide down on one of these mats over here. You'll stick your feet over there on the end that says Ultimate Abyss. Grab onto the handle and uh, whisk yourself down. Uh, this incredible ride. So when Oasis of the Seas was introduced, uh, it really brought everything bigger and better uh, to cruising. And uh, one of the things was uh, the Flow Rider. And uh, the Flow Riders actually, there are two of them on board. And then there's one on the other side, identical to this. And then over here we have the wipeout bar. 
great spot to grab a drink in between uh, watching some great uh, wipeouts uh, on the floor riding. Then over here we do have the uh, setup area for the zip line on board the ship. And uh, like all the activities, the zip line is complimentary on board the Oasis class ships. Um, you do need to make sure that you have a proper attire. Uh, they don't allow you to go if you're soaking wet and uh, you do need uh, shoes on as well. And if you're counting, that is nine decks down to the boardwalk. Here's a thrill seeker getting ready to go. And there she goes. So we're here at deck 16 uh, midship aft and we're gonna head into the Windjammer Marketplace. And at the entrance on both sides of the Windjammer, they do have these hand washing stations. Everything is touch free, uh, which is great, especially right now. This is a very spread out uh, Windjammer Marketplace here on board Oasis of the Seas. And uh, they do have two sections, so typically uh, during less peak times, there'll be only one section open. So over here we have a salad station. Looks like some uh, charcuterie plates, ham and cheeses, some breads. And uh, looks like they're doing press sandwiches as well. Here's some nice international dishes, some curries, butter masala roti. Vegetable pad thai, very nice. Ooh, bread pudding, one of my favorites. And off to the side here, a beverage station. Coffees, teas, and sort of... And here are the Coca-Cola freestyle machines in the Windjammer Marketplace. Assortment of sandwiches and wraps. Chicken tenders, fries, burgers, hot dogs, and tacos. Some nice tempting dessert options here some cakes and uh, even some nice looking sugar-free options as well. Great views up here from the Windjammer Marketplace. And I always tell people when you come to the buffets on board, if you just keep walking through to the back, you'll always find some um, extra seating, which is not as busy as uh, it is on the other side. And that is the case here right now. So we're just outside the entrance to the Windjammer Marketplace here on Deck 16. And uh, we're going to continue to head forward and I'll show you some of the things up here. So there are these uh, colorful casitas that are uh, scattered around this deck. And uh, these are available for rent. Uh, you can get that uh, uh, rental information from the Lyman Coconut Bars. I really like these chairs. Uh, if you sling a couple of towels over the top, you've got some really great shaded uh, spot, which is uh, ultra comfortable here. So as you can see, we've got the uh, sun setting behind the mountains over there here in St. Thomas. And uh, here's the upper level of the Lime and Coconut Bar. And uh, another smoking area here on board Oasis of the Seas. And uh, something that they've added in addition to the Lime and Coconut were these uh, whirlpools up here. Uh, these were not here prior to the amplification. And then there's this uh, pass-through bridge area That'll take you from uh, one side to the next. And it's a really great vantage point to appreciate the uh, open spaces down here of uh, Central Park. That really is a nice uh, sunset happening over there. Unfortunately, I won't get a direct view from my vantage point. But uh, up here in Deck 16, it's really more uh, just uh, chairs to lay out. Uh, like I said, they have added these uh, hot tubs, and there's one on either side. And then some of these casitas as well. And then as we walk uh, forward here, it's going to take us to the... Uh, upper level of the solarium. Well, 
and uh, for guests that are staying in uh, Star Sky class suites and Pinnacle uh, Crown and Ink members do have access to the sun deck up here on deck 17 and uh, this just wraps around uh, right underneath actually the uh, perfect storm water slides uh, but they do have a bar there as well and uh, some nice comfortable uh, lounge space And from here again, you can see down to one of the cantilever whirlpools of the solarium. And then this is the upper level of the solarium. Again, as I mentioned, it's not closed in the solarium. It uh, has open sections in addition to the glass panels here. So up here, you just find more uh, similar to the downstairs or the lower deck, uh, where you have lots of loungy areas. Uh, there is this whole section though that is covered so if you're like more uh, out of the uh, sun areas this is a great spot for it over here is the solarium bar with uh, great views especially again coming in and out of port And a nice view from up here of the uh, pool down on the lower deck. And then it's more of the same as it wraps around to the other side of the ship. Beautiful time of the day right now here in uh, St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands. And there's the other cantilevered whirlpool below. And then over here on the starboard side, you can see this uh, person going around in supercell. So you do go wind around, 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 and then eventually you'll, you'll probably get stuck before you head down into the hole right there which will take you down to the uh, drop and uh, the splashy finish there's the beach pool that we saw earlier and then we'll continue to head aft on deck 16 which uh, really deck 16 on both sides is a duplicate of the same sort of features, um, amenities on both sides, the whirlpools and uh, loungers and such, and the uh, casitas for rent, and then they even have another uh, lime and coconut bar, much smaller than the one that you see up on uh, or down below on deck 15, uh, but at least it's great, you don't have to go all the way down uh, to grab yourself a drink when you're up here having a good time. This area up here, uh, which is typically the Viking Crown Lounge on board Royal Caribbean ships, uh, this is actually exclusive for uh, guests that are in the uh, higher level suites. So in here you do have Coastal Kitchen as well as the Suite Lounge, um, but the area itself is not open to other guests. Thanks for coming along on this walking tour here on board Oasis of the Seas. Don't forget to like this video, post your comments and questions, hit that notification bell, and subscribe for more Talking Cruise.